that may be our only lifeline. I'll go to her then. Investigate the short. I'll be moving to the mines. I'll get the guild members and whoever I can. There's one other thing. Father Andrews, I'm not sure if you've heard this or not. Um, oh, this is going to be quite the sentence. Uh, plans to repeat the offered son. What? Oh, yes, he has gathered uh, a wicker pyre and intends to uh, sacrifice a, uh, a member of our community on it this day who has volunteered themselves. Hear me out. I just finished going through the Lady Blackwell's personal journal from front to back that I took from the manor. <coughs> The timeline of things is all wrong. I used to work for the Blackwells family after we came into contact. There's a liaison for them in the city. Eventually, her, Frederick, and their son came out here to found this town and settle it. It was Frederick's dream. As far as I knew, the plague came. They killed Frederick and they killed her son, and that's when I was called to act in their stead. <coughs> her journal never mentions the death of her son once. What, what? She grieves for Frederick, and she says that she would do anything to bring him back, but she misses and loves him. Now, there's no concrete evidence, and I, I want to assume that I've gone mad. But I thought of something that terrifies me. What? The manor is on a hill overlooking a valley. Same as the offered son. Given all the crowd, altar overlooking all the land beneath him. Brother, I... Um. I don't know what she did. But the knowledge that I had to this point was that they both perished the plague. But that book does not say that. Are you suggesting some sort of... False I think offer? she her son. I think she did. I don't know if there's any concrete evidence to that, but this book misses <laughs> crucial information that should point to the death of her son with the plague, and it never happens. It's never in there. I've read it from front to back. Then we have to stop the father before he repeats heresy and sends us spiraling into deeper chaos. Is it heresy? I don't know what to think anymore. All I know is, is that there's one. Well, we're trapped in this town and we only have one way out. We should hasten and not open that passage. <laughs> I'm going to go to rats to it all. I need you to try and dissuade the brother. He's already suspicious of me. If it comes to violence, I will not let you die. Surviving this, if any of us survive in this, falls further by the day. I. Brother, I have made a great many errors in my life. I am not a good man. If someone must burn down that manor, I promise you, it will be me. Understand. Well, I better go find my inquisitor. <sighs> Blessings be on this household.
As far as I'm concerned, you two are just caught in the crossfire, and I am sorry for this. I don't know what to do. The best thing that you can do right now is help Buxton mine. That's the best thing you can do right now. <clears throat> you don't want me to accompany you? <clears throat> For now. When it's your turn to mine, you must. Sir. Even I will take my turn. something we won't take up too much of your time we're trying to find Nina that Nina ah the table <sighs> I know Miss Drake I have not seen her people have said she left Probably. but that doesn't make sense left yeah that's unlike her she never it's... <sighs> I know, Mistake. I've known her a long time. With the loss of Samantha, she would not wander away from town. She should be here. If she's not here, someone has her. Or she's left on her own volition. I don't from know. From what I heard last night, from the baker, she was... she accompanied Nina. Out to the woods. Some woman to in the woods. black <sighs> near the hunting house. And she says some lady in black went to her to help with her cough. Then she's with the pagans. The lady in black would be the woman known as Diora. I'm sorry, I don't know much more than that. That's fine. Well, <coughs> yeah. Unfortunately, this news is, thank you for your time. You were able to do more than most. I'm just trying to keep the town alive. Despite some of the townsfolk jumping the gun and trying to kill me in the street. There is Wait, something what? strange going on. Aye. That's what this is. My eye is destroyed. Samantha. All she had to do was come back to the Bailey. And she would have agreed with what I had to say. That's what hurts my heart the most. But instead she tried to kill me. That's my burden to bear, not yours. Stay safe. Take care of yourself, Regent. It was denser than that. It looked like it was coming from the manor. As we got closer, it started moving closer to us. Everyone else said it smelled like death. I want you to see if you can get yourself a knife. Just in case you have to protect yourself. Uh, okay. I don't care where you get it from. Maybe there's an extra one in the Bailey, I doubt it, but I want you to have something. I'll go look. Good.
Um, Nathaniel is looking around for, like, any sort of knife, like, a uh, any sort of knife. <laughs> oh, uh, As per the region's instructions. Knife, yeah, that's uh, all he needs. Kitchen knife, whittler's knife, yeah. like, anything like that. in here that you could find like cutlery. There's like a little station here with some cookware and stuff. Is there? Well, well, kind of. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you could yeah, right, you could definitely find a knife in here. Alright, okay. would you be able to spawn that for me, please? Yep, yeah, one second. Thank you. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh. She was religious. The Church of the Father, the Offered Son, tells us that the Son was offered unwillingly. She might have thought it was a pious thing to do. This is all conjecture. I don't have concrete proof, but her journal that I read from the manor only speaks about the death of Frederick of the Plague. She acts like her son was always alive and well. The sacrifice of the offered son took place on a wicker altar on top of a hill overlooking a valley. Exactly where the Blackwell Manor is. And our little town is in the valley. I don't know how accurate this is, but there's too many things lining up that don't make sense. There's also <coughs> Has anyone seen Miss Brent or Nina in the last day? No. I heard a gunshot Fresh in the woods. In the forest. What? She's the only what? one with a who had a round left. When? Twenty minutes ago, I went as far as the break in the path to the swamp or the out in the farther valley. I dare not go farther alone. Ohara? You'll only meet your death out there. Don't wander off. She's always come back, right? Every single time. Every time. You were right. Don't falter now. Because if you go looking out there and she comes back, she's gonna turn right around and try to get you. Fine. <clears throat> 
Good. For your safety and hers. <coughs> we finished the. Vision, have you... We finished gathering enough wood for the pyre. All that stands now is to find Stiora. The fog is going to make that difficult. If you're going to do that, the brother is going to have to come with you. Or the father, I should say. And I have not seen him since maybe 30 minutes ago. I should probably find him quickly. You don't want to do that with his son down. Have you seen Nella it? since your talk with her? She was with Mr. Salon the clinic. I've assigned one of my mercenaries to stay with her at all times. Right, I'll check there then. Keep your wits about you, Mr. Weibel. Any luck? Mm. Yes, sir. Good. Good. And this feeling is closing in. Precious commodity. Agreed. The town is surrounded. People tried to move through it, and a mist chased them, a black cloud. What? And that smelled of rot and death. <sighs> so now we're being penned in? I think the only way out is the mine. I have boxed in getting every able-bodied man to work in shifts. If I've got to tunnel this fucking town out, I will. Of time. I won't do something stupid, but Bane and I laid traps the other day. I don't believe he went and checked them. If we're going to need to hole up here, we're going to need all the food we can get. <clears throat> I'm not going to go running after her, but... Well, I trust her. Out there. I'll be back before nightfall. In and out. You best be. And I, I don't have a guild member with me this time. Maybe there won't be any trouble. If someone tries to hurt you, and you have a knife. You either go for the throat. Oh. Between the third and fifth rib, right here. You stab a man there, he'll bleed out in seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just... I know it sounds extreme. Yep. Oh, these things, these... How do I kill one of them? I don't know. Okay. The brother Andrew said when he used his own blood on his blade and swiped at it, it looked like it dissipated. But we don't know for sure. If you get cornered, you might as well try it. Uh, Ostiora did say I have prize pig blood. <sighs> well, perhaps you can put it to use then. She definitely wanted to.
Is the father with you, no. Lord Regent? No. What happened in the lobby? He was going to ask if he spoke to him. Oh, I I'm going to find like him hence. He's nowhere to be seen at present. I was simply discussing with Owen here the terms that we might have to hide him for a short while from the father's justice. I understand. I know nothing of it. Be Understood. Be prepared to move when I come here next. That's all. Blessings of the father on you, Owen. I know that what you did to that witch hunter was, uh, done out of no place of lack of kindness. Regardless of what Father Andrew said, I shall leave you now. Be careful. You're a brave man. The water boy. Sir. The water? The vial I gave you. You went to the manor. Oh, right, that one. Boy. 
Mr. Shallow. Probably in the mines, no? But if that's the case, where is Andrew? Who's that? That was uh, Mr. Sallow and Jeremy. I think. At some point, it may not be wise for you to be around me. Most of the towns will want me dead. Good thing I've got. Have I think. No. Let's protect yourself, not someone else. <laughs> You've protected me thus far. Do me a favor. My lantern that's in the bailey. Find some fucking oil and fill it. Sorry. I have to do something stupid. <clears throat> Spooky lantern.
Let's see how it stopped. Ash, this is strange good. things happening in this town, Mateo. They don't pay you to care about it. Make sure she yeah, stays alive. Not do. Kid. See, nothing has changed. I don't know if these will help. Right, top's Here. up and ready, sir. Yeah, I'm sure the, uh, the, the nails as well that they uh, pulled out of the trees. Thank you. Here, Father Andrew. A vial of holy water that we collected. What? Where is around your neck? Just the fog is extended as far as the swamp. Yes. Yes. I say here. Take this, a vial of holy water. Collected by me and Andrew last night. We collected many. We believe that we... Father Andrew. <laughs> There is something we must speak on. It is a matter of utmost importance. Very well. Then we'll have to prepare for the. Importance. We'll have to prepare for the sacrifice soon. The sun is setting, and I do not wish to do it, it at night. Relating to that sacrifice, as it happens. Hmm. Father, I implore you. We have reason to believe that such things have been committed before. How do you, you know? listen to me this day? I have learned that within the diary of Lady Blackwell, taken from the manor, there is no mention of the death of her son. The timeline does not match up. Only a great well of grief for the loss of her husband. We believe it is possible that her son was offered in exchange for the return of her husband. It's true. And that perhaps what is happening here is punishment. For that horrific Think, sacrifice. Father, the man that is on the hill overlooking the valley. In that journal from start to finish, she spoke about how her heart yearned for the return of Frederick, and never once messaged the death of her son. The way she wrote acted like he was still alive the entire time, until she finally stopped keeping track and stopped writing. A strange thing to have It also mentioned that, that her eyes were blue. I think. She offered up her son and made a terrible mistake. The brother is right. Then we can right a wrong using the same method. We don't know that. That is an incredible gamble to take. The father she was an incredibly years, could be pious woman. She worshipped the father like no other. And she truly believed to follow in those footsteps, Father Andrew, that she would offer up her own son. Blood this, for blood, think, Miss Baymont. It is the very creed. What do you think? make everything worse. I think we've lost too many. Very well. Then I will accept the judgment of my peers. Keep me in line. I will not go through with it. But if it turns out we are I wrong. Am. If it turns out we are wrong, we'll do what we must. Father. Very well. No, Andrew, before we're trapped in the darkness. We seek to it's escape the night. Go ahead, brother. It was believed that there is a network of tunnels beneath the town. It's a far log shot, but if we are truly trapped by this fog, then it may be that the pathway 
Beneath the waterfall is our only hope of exit and egress. It ex also explains why there's things being heard in the every cellar. Ah. Why things are opening and closing. How long How until long? Mr. Yeah. Buxton gets that cave entrance cleared? They're working shifts for the guild right now. Uh, every able-bodied man and woman that can <coughs> swing a pick is working in shifts. <coughs> 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 Very well. I'll see about looking in the cellars and seeing if I can find anything. Unfortunately, it's too dark in the cellars for me to actually see, so I will need light with me. Another thing I'm going to share out in the open. I checked my records. I've been here taking care of this town for the whole five years that it has been here. The body that was down there must have been hidden and in less than a year someone purposefully hid a body down in those mines and the only person or so I was told that had the mines before was Clive Buxton's father I looked through all my records <coughs> Mr. Buxton's father was never present in this town ever not once what Mr. Harcourt? Aye. What if what's happening in this town is identical to what we found in the manor? I don't know. I've thought about that. I don't know. I'm unsure as to what Let's course see. of action can be taken. <sighs> we need those miles open. Leaving is not one. 